In this problem, we were tasked with figuring out how strong this force F has to be to keep this trolley, which has a mass of 1,000 kilograms, moving at a constant rate up this incline of 10 degrees. So the first thing I want to do here is diagram all the forces that are acting on the trolley. And there are three forces acting on our trolley. There's this force F, which corresponds to the road pushing the trolley up the hill. There's the normal force acting perpendicular to the slope. And there's the force of gravity, which points straight down. And as we've done in the past, we can break down the force of gravity into components that are parallel to the incline and perpendicular to the incline. And you'll remember that this angle here is the same as this angle here, so they're both 10 degrees. All right, now we know that we want this trolley to move at a constant velocity, which means that it can't be accelerating, so acceleration has to be zero. And if it's not accelerating, that means there can't be any net force acting on the trolley. So the net force also has to be equal to zero. And if the net force is equal to zero, that means all of these forces perfectly balance each other out. So let's look at the perpendicular direction first. So there's some component of the force of gravity acting perpendicular to the incline, but we don't need to worry about that since we know that's going to be perfectly balanced out by the normal force here. We also know that this force F has to exactly equal the component of gravity that's parallel to the incline. That gives us this equation here. Now using some trigonometry, I know that F is equal to the full force of gravity times the sine of 10 degrees. And of course, the force of gravity is just equal to mg. And plugging in numbers here, I find that the force F required to keep the trolley moving at a constant velocity is equal to 1,736 newtons. Great work.